I am not sure how this looks, but this is what we're gonna go with because I have really tried to do an intro to this video like five times, guys, and uh it's like just start. Like at this point, it's like just start it out. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Tisha Tucker saying your local real estate agent that's gonna make it happen okay so now that we have that understood I am Natisha guys I want to start off this video by first letting you know this is not gonna be a formal channel is not okay this is not gonna be a formal channel if you are looking for a formal channel you might want to go somewhere else because this is gonna be life is me okay any content I, i'm not gonna say like this is gonna be left me but y'all i will have like some formal content but we just here for the knowledge and the lifestyle okay i'm not gonna say lifestyle because i don't try to portray a certain lifestyle i'm just gonna live my life and you're gonna watch me okay okay so um to start this video off guys i my name is natisha turgerson i'm based in mary county florida i am your florida real estate agent that come up okay my ultimate goal is to help new agents or new people getting into real estate to figure out what is going to be best for you, what's the best route to take, um, things you should have known before you got into real estate, things that will help you on your route in real estate, and just me just showing you like my day-to-day -day life, what I do. I may do like some videos like that too, but I'm just going to start back getting into my YouTube, okay? I have done YouTube before. That is a little bit about me. Well, I actually have people ask me all the time, like uh, tons of questions about how to get licensed, how do I like real estate, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna start doing content on it, okay? All right. So this, my first video will basically just be like, um, how did I get licensed? How did I get licensed in Florida? Or ways that you can get licensed in Florida so that you can become a real estate agent. So my first step was really deciding that i wanted to do this when i say that i mean like really doing research and knowing that being a real estate agent is just not you looking cute going inside a house and collecting a paycheck that same week like that is not real estate if you think that you're just gonna always look pretty i'm not saying like you can't always look pretty you probably will but i'm not gonna hold you yeah I'm not gonna hold you. It's hard out here. It's, it's hard out here, especially when you're on the go and go and go and you have kids too. It's crazy. But I'm just saying, do it's being in real estate is not this glamorous lifestyle that you see on the TV shows. Like that is not it. That's not that's not real estate. And if that's what you're looking for, don't do it. Don't don't come over here. Like the grass is not greener on the other side. Okay. This is not that. Like real estate is like very stressful. Um, it's very rewarding, but it's very stressful. It can be very stressful if you don't have the right balance that you need. Um, it can be very brokey. Like, it, it can get brokey. Yeah, it can get brokey. Like, if you do not manage your money properly when you get your paychecks, like, it can be brokey. Um, it's just fun. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Real estate is just fun. It's something that you will never know everything. Like, you can be on a job and you can be the best person like the best worker they have and just like ultimately succeed in a task like there's you know everything there is to know about that position real estate is not that i promise you real estate is not that you will never know nobody knows everything about real estate i promise you like you're constantly learning every single day you're constantly improving yourself you're constantly working on yourself working on your business and ultimately being in real estate is and being an entrepreneur like your you are becoming your business like we can make llc's and have these businesses and these business plans but when you're in real estate you are the business like you are the business okay so understanding that is a good platform to start at but that's other stuff if we get to that and people ask more about it i'll get into it but to start off this video guys how did i get in real estate was first deciding that i really wanted to do real estate so when i first started getting into real estate guys i decided this was what i wanted to do i was just really tired of my nine to five job and they were like on the last straw i was on the last straw so i was just like you know what i need to find me something to do my mom um, was in real estate so and i was helping her out with some stuff so originally that's why i really had the interest in it 
but it was one of those things that I I've always wanted to do anyway like I remember my mom first got into real estate. I used to go and show houses with her. And I kid you not, y'all, I would show the houses as if I would, like, every house I walked into, I was just mesmerized. Like, I just knew that this was something I wanted to do. Like, I, I loved seeing it. I loved envisioning how the decor can happen. Like, I just loved seeing every part of it. So I got into real estate. My first step was finding me a class. In, in the state of Florida, you have to take your 63-hour own course to get licensed. It's called the pre-licensing course on a lot of platforms. You need that class. A lot of people stress out about the credibility of the classes. I do not know too much about that specifically. But I know people that have taken um, multiple, like, used multiple platforms where they have used, um, used multiple platforms where they have took their 63-hour course and got licensed with no problem. So... I'm not I'm not really sure about the credibility as far as you need to be looking at for for it to be a specific what am I trying to say for it to be accredited by a specific company or person or division or whatever I'm not sure about that that would be like other research but I know people that use like Magnolia School for Real Estate um Ken Jones online courses uh it's another one too I'll probably drop a link to a few in the description box Hope that place that you can take these classes again these are not recommended classes i'm not saying that i'm attaching my name to them i am not telling you i recommend you doing these classes for anything that you don't like about them again this is totally up to you this is part of your research of what class you want to take either way you're going to need those six three hours okay okay now once you are already enrolled in the class once it starts getting to the end of like you're finishing up the class I would highly recommend going ahead and getting your fingerprints taken because you will need them. I will add in there, you will need a new set of fingerprints because I used to work for the state. Um, I already worked for like the state of Florida and even I had to redo um, my fingerprints because they needed to go. Like when you get fingerprinted, they don't like to stay in like a cloud where anybody can use them when they need them. No, you have to get them done specifically to be sent to whatever division you need them to be in so ours would be w i mean w dbpr and that's basically that's going to be everybody that's going to be the company or the division that does everything per real estate um the please don't ask me what that stands for right now because i'm having a major brain fart and y'all probably like this girl but i'm so serious i mean i'm being honest i don't know. look it up so once you get to the end of the course, I highly recommend it. Go ahead and do your fingerprint. I personally went to um, Ken Jones Real Estate School here in Marion County, Florida, and they were absolutely amazing. I have no complaints. They give you the book so you can use it as a reference even later on down the line. Um, yeah, they even had somebody come like when it was getting towards the end of our course or the end of the part. The, yeah, once it was getting to the end of our course, they had somebody come to the school because I did in-person classes, I did not do online. Again, that is your preference. Me personally, I don't do good with doing online learning. I need to be there in front of a person so I can ask my questions now as they arise. Not have to work for no email or nothing. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody that does online. Again, it's your learning preference, whatever you prefer. But Ken Jones had somebody come to the school and actually do um, fingerprinting for us. Like it was like a one-stop shop. Like I came there, got my 63 hour course. I got my fingerprints taken. Um, they they help you do the application to like register because you have to take the 63 hour class. You have to get fingerprinting and then you have to do an application to be able to take the state test. Now your course is going to include all of the knowledge that you need. For, for the class and the hours that you need per the state to, to get your license. And it's also gonna include an end of, end of course exam for that class. You gotta get the lessons, the knowledge, and the end of course exam. Once you pass that end of course of get exam, they're gonna give you a certificate. You get your fingerprints and you're gonna send all of that to um, DBPR. You're gonna send that to DBPR and they're going you're going to like basically apply to your application to be able to take the state real estate licensing course the state course and the in the course exam are two different courses those are that the state course is not included a lot of people ask is the course included 
the end of course exam is included in your course but not your state exam you have to go i think i went to pearson view and did it with a proctor it was only like 30 dollars. like it was cheap i don't know anybody else about taking tests but any state test i've ever taken it was like a hundred dollars 99 dollars like they can be pricey so for this exam it will be 30 dollars to me that's cheap okay so that's what you're looking at take your course your 63 hour course then you get fingerprinted then you apply to take the test and then you wait now how long does it take in between this time period it all really depends on when you apply to do it um i applied i want to say it took only about two weeks um and that was like post covid so I want to say it took like probably two or three weeks. I can't really remember off the top of my head. I've heard some people say it took sooner because it all just depends on how back they are, how backed up they are with the application. So that can vary. I cannot tell you a direct time frame on that, but that's that's kind of what you keep in mind. I would say three weeks, and if it happens sooner, hey, okay. So after that, they'll basically tell you that you got approved to take the test, and they will send you a link, I believe, for you to go ahead and register for your test. For you to take your state test i took mine through pearson view in gainesville florida again that's just what was worked for me you can take them at other testing stations wherever you may be now once you take your state test and you pass it i believe you have to get a 75 or higher to pass and i believe it's 100 questions now once you pass the state test you're good you're good You've taken the course, 63 hours. You've taken your, you passed your end of course exam. You've gotten fingerprinted. You've applied to take the test. You got approved to take the test. You took the test. You passed the test. Now, what do you do? Now you wait. I'm telling you to wait because it, I think it, it took like three days for them to actually send me my license via email and that I could print out and stuff. Um, that, I waited um, about, probably like three days they sent it to me. Now you're licensed. Now you have a license, what is your next step? Well, you should follow my channel so you can stay tuned for any next videos I coming up. So what's our next steps? Or I can't give you too much in one video. Okay, so that's like just the, just the rundown of how to get licensed in the state of Florida to do real estate. Now follow my channel guys. You can comment any questions that you may have and stay tuned for other content I'm going to put out on how to get licensed and what to do after you get licensed in the state of Florida as a real estate agent. Again guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for thumbs it up this video and thank you for interacting so I can give you better content that can better serve you on how to get licensed in Florida and staying up to date with the real estate market here in Florida. Peace.